Hey, it's Jake here, and today what we're going to do is we're going to reset the maintenance indicator warning on this 2014 Toyota Highlander. Let's get started. Okay, here are some instructions. Don't get wound up with these instructions because I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn the key to the on position. Very simple, not the accessory, but the on position. Take a look at your dashboard now, and you'll see that it says maintenance required, and you'll see the little triangle on top with the explanation point there that says hey this car needs maintenance usually what happens is if you don't do your oil changes in time or when the oil change comes due it tells you that you need to do this so the next thing that you want to do in order to reset this thing is you're going to look for your trip odometer which is that little button that sticks out right there where i'm pointing to and you're just going to tap it till it says trip a okay once it says trip a then what you're going to do is you're simply going to then turn the car back to the lock position. You don't have to hold that trip A button at this point, just turn it back to the lock position, and that's basically the off position, okay? You'll notice when you look back at your dashboard, your display there, you'll see that there is no warning there. Basically, the door is open, so it tells you your miles, and it shows that the door is open, but the car is essentially off. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press and hold that same odometer button there, and now you're gonna turn the ignition back to your on position. Not accessory, but the on position. And you're gonna do this while you're holding on to that button and holding it down. And when you look at your dashboard, your display now, it's basically gonna show you that it's resetting the maintenance data. You'll see it flash a couple times. At that point in time, you can remove your finger from that button and it's done. By the way, this procedure probably works for multiple late model Toyotas and Lexus models. If you have a car and this works with your Toyota or Lexus, please let us know. We're all interested. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up are always appreciated. I have other Toyota videos, other cool videos coming out. Please let me hear your comments. Have a great day.